Do you have the divine nature of God? Or are you walking blindly? Let's talk about that. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. I went before the Lord in prayer some weeks ago and he showed me a picture of the church. Not the church building, but the church body, his bride. And the eyes of the church was being obstructed. Their eyes were taped shut. It's not that they didn't have eyes to see. Their sight was obstructed. They could not see. So God had me praying for the eyes of the church to be opened. He wanted me to do this video because he wants the church to know that they are walking blindly. Why? Because they are lacking his divine nature. Children will take on their parents' characters, their attributes, and sometimes their mannerism. So when we as Christians are born again, we are supposed to take on our father's divine nature. His nature could only be divine because he is a divine God. And God wants us to be partakers in who he is. To have his divine nature is to possess all the attributes that make God who he is. So when we say that Jesus has a divine nature, we are saying that he possesses every attribute that God possesses. If Jesus lives on the inside of us, we are to possess the same nature. As John 14, 20, Jesus tells us that I am in my father and ye in me and I in you. But what does God's divine nature look like? In 2 Peter chapter 1, tells us what his divine nature consists of. And that is faith, virtue, knowledge, temperance, patience, godliness, brotherly kindness, and charity. When we gave our lives to the Lord, he gave us a measure of faith because we have accepted him as our Lord and Savior. So to that faith, we are to add virtue. What is virtue? Virtue is moral excellence. So just saying that we have faith in God, it's not enough. Our actions matter. The stance that we take, it matters. Our lives as believers in Jesus Christ, it is important. To virtue, we are to add knowledge. We gain this knowledge when we spend time with God in his word, through prayer and fasting and through worship. That is the only way we are going to get to know and understand who God is. This is the avenue by which we will know the will of God in our lives. To knowledge, we are to add temperance, self-restraint, self-control. This is accomplished only by being led by the Spirit of God, not the carnal man. This is what we need to have in order to resist the devil so that he can flee from us. When Jesus was led by the spirit into the wilderness, he had the temperance to resist the devil. And to temperance, we are to add patience. This is a tough one because patience is being able to endure to remain steadfast even when nothing makes sense, when nothing seems to be going your way or in the timing that you desire. But we are to be patient and wait patiently in Christ. And to patience, 
We are to add godliness. We are to so show reverence towards God. Always acknowledge him as the Lord and Savior in our walk with him, in our worship, and recognizing that he is a holy God. And to godliness, brotherly kindness. We are to be concerned about our brothers and sisters in Christ and their well-being. Praying and interceding and helping each other. Not gossiping, criticizing, judging, or tearing them down. We are to hold each other up and encourage one another. Remember, we serve the same God. We are a part of the same body of Christ. We are all Christians, aren't we? Add to brotherly kindness, charity. This is the agape love, God's divine love that you can only achieve through Jesus Christ because he is love. This love cannot be purchased because it was already paid for at the cross when God gave his only begotten son. Verse 9 of 2 Peter chapter 1 says that, But he that lacketh these things is blind, and cannot see afar off, and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. If we are lacking God's divine nature, we are unable to see him. Our focus will only be on ourselves. This makes us virtually blind, showing we have forgotten that we were cleansed from sin. If you and I are lacking these things, we have not grown in the nature of our divine God. We are still being led by the carnal man and the spirit of God is not active in our lives. If we are lacking his nature, we are lacking his power because in his divine nature, there is power, power to heal, power to deliver and to set free. It was virtue that left Jesus that healed the woman with the issue of blood. If you do not possess the attributes of God, you are blind and cannot see anything other than yourself. If you find yourself in this place right now, I want to encourage you to see God for his divine nature so that he can move in your life. I'm Alison Cornelius, and thank you for joining me on Mana for Thought.